All right, no messing around. Let's get right to it. Let's hit the beach house. Dude, what are you what are you looking at? Nothing. All right. Um, parked cars. It's funny because there's no cars on the street, but. Oh, that reminds me, we were going to check out the nightclub. You know, let's do that uh, if we have time left over after doing the dungeon or whatever this thing is. And the Empire Hideout. Hideous. Oh. That makes more sense. Hey, that car opens. Guy Connie. But that pier, that's the kind of thing that makes you lose your faith in humanity. I gotta say, it's the second worst thing I've ever seen. Poor bastard down there is torn in two. By the looks of it, you think someone tied him to two horses and <laughs> raced him in opposite directions. What could you have possibly seen that was worse than what's down there? It was about three years ago, up in Malibu, I was gone. Hmm. Huh. But like, I don't know, an attack. Shark bite? No, I have seen shark bites or something. I was literally slashed to ribbons. The worst part was I was waiting for the meat wagon. Someone was watching me. Hmm. I swear on my badge today or something. It's not a suck. And. Fucking saying about vampires, man. Fuck you up. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Let's hit the beach. How'd you know I was looking Never for someone? Mind. You wouldn't understand. Oh, okay, well, thank you. I don't know what these dudes are. You know, I will come back to you. I'm gonna follow the lady's directions. Maybe those guys will get away if I don't go up here. I don't know what's up here. We'll see. While entering a combat area, time for shit to get real. Never incur a masquerade violation, so it's safe to hack dudes up. Oh, it's like the beach house. Alright, well, come on. I'll help you. Uh, relax. I'm here to buy you know from you know who. Okay, you can go on in. And if you really want to make my night, go ahead and start some shit in there, because I would love it. I will remember that. Thanks, buddy. Also, invest in a shirt. You have like a million abs. Alright. Um, let's case around the outside of the house a little bit. Cause, I mean, shit's gonna go down pretty something that's fierce in here. Like, what's this? I could turn off their power. I think I broke my ring. I was beating on that McCreary. Okay. <laughs> Who wear rings? Lots of people wear rings. Lots of girls wear rings. Okay, where are those guys talking? Dude from the beach could take a beating. Hmm. Her voices are so quiet. Is that, is that a car stereo? What are you gonna do if that mercurial dude or somebody comes back for his money? Should kill me. Chill, man. so damn scared. I can't figure out where these guys are talking from, so I'm just gonna wander around the house a little bit. Here. Oh, dude, you playing that new uh, Vampire the Masquerade game? Looks like a piece of shit. Okay, that's not true. But it does look like you're playing, like, the Wu-Tang controller from... <laughs> Maybe... No, nah, it looks a little bit like a PS3. Look at that. Uh, Alright. 
Never mind. Okay, that door is locked. We're not gonna piss anybody off by unlocking it, but we will take a second and check his computer. Email. I can't get into anywhere with hacking skill too. God, I need experience. All right, whatever. I should just stop trying and wasting time. What the hell is this? Crouch. Ah, glitch out. What's in here? An envelope full of money. I have no problem taking all of that. What's out here? Oh, it's Pork Chop. Hey, Pork Chop, what's up, buddy? What are you doing in this game, man? Are you just chilling? All right. Don't attack me later. You might need. I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at you, man. Don't attack me. I will fight you if I have to, but I really don't want to. So just be chill. All right. Good talk. All right. Here we go. Uh huh. Yeah. You look real good at me. Before we do business, before anything changes hands, I want you to hear this. All right. If you try to cross me. Okay. If you tell the cops about me, I will find you. Then I will fuck you. And if you are a cop, I will fuck you and your whole family, including that squirrel in your front yard. You have some seriously repressed sexuality issues, dude. What can I do to make you walk out feeling like you just flew first class with a cheerleader in your lap? Hmm. What do you got, buddy? My staff maintains at all times a 24 karat smuggler's board of A plus narcotics guaranteed to make the competition shit seem like a weak cappuccino in comparison. White, green, blues, red, black, you pick a color. It's creepy how he's smiling now. I'm looking for something different. You got any explosives? Explosives? Fun stuff. You can get yourself a lot of attention that way. I may have something. Why would you need to get your hands on some fireworks? Um. Money problems. I need to make a car disappear for the insurance. Okay. I got some stuff that'll do the trick. Astrolite. Nice. It's like TNT's big Amina cousin with a prison record. Okay. I don't like keeping the stuff around. Too dangerous. So I let you have it for a little less than the going rate. That sounds really good, man. Um, I'm good for the money, believe me. I'd never rip off a guy like you. You sure you're good for it? Because all it means to me if you're not is a little late night shark fishing trip with the boys if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, I totally understand what you're saying. Hey, you hold on to it. But if you don't pay me, you're like this shit. You understand? Yeah, I understand. I'll bring the money as soon as I can, man. Are we serious? Like, you, got, you, you guys aren't going to fight me? I'm a little bit disappointed. I mean, guys, like, you're not going to fight me? What if I take this car stereo? That's what I wanted to see. Fuck you guys. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, stop, man. I'm a monster. See you guys in hell. This car stereo was worth it. Totally worth it. See you guys. Fuck all. Oh shit. Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh, here we go. We gotta go over here. Shit, come on. Run, 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 run. Yes. Fuck you, I'm out. See you later, assholes. I probably shouldn't have stopped to showboat. Yeah, yeah. Oops. All right. Hey guys. Just easy, easy, easy. No, no, no. Bubble. That's cool, man. E evening. Are you okay, man? It's n nothing. Sorry about you, man. Yeah. How about you. Um. Uh. No, no, no. Uh. Do you know who the head vampire is? Um, what are you talking about? If the head vampire dies, we all become human again, right? Uh, that is not how it works. Oh, um, how about blood transfusions? If I get a full blood transfusion, I can become human again, right? Um, no, I don't think, I think you're permanent, dude. What? Oh, no. There, 
there's nothing I can do? Not that I know of. You can try not to let your condition defeat you. But how? I don't want this. I want to be human again. Listen, I'm sorry, man. Um, guess what? It's not there's gonna happen. I can do. Good luck, man. Take it easy. <sighs> so you guys vampires? Sucks, bro. Are you a vampire? Happy. No. No, you are going to China. Going to China? What are you talking about? Why is he smiling? The father? The father. Is it the father behind him? You're not making any sense. Chased it by the one at the top of the city. On the sea. <clears throat> On the ground. Oh, you found it in the crypt. It's open. Oh, it's open. Oh god. Oh god. What? Run. I do not understand. I, I'm sorry. Sometimes I see it. nothing. Disregard what I say. You have a gift. It's very important. Can you tell me anything else? One hand moves the pieces of the game. The winner keeps his hand on the pawn. I don't know what um, I'm you don't, saying. Okay. Forget what I say. Um. Can you tell me my fortune or fate? Fortune is not your destiny. All of us are unfortunate. Every time I sleep, the future plays out before me. I know the end of it. You will end over and over until I cease to dream. Hmm. I know your questions. For one hundred dollars, I'll tell you what you don't want to hear. I need money to leave this place. That sounds fine. Um, oh, I, I can't say a hundred. I can't give her a hundred. All right, how about how about twenty? Then ask again. Um, who can I trust? Hmm. The man on the couch, the lone wolf, all others. The man on the couch. That's got to be Mercurio. I mean, I haven't met any other man on couches. The lone wolf. Who's the lone wolf? Um, who are my enemies? Men. Everywhere. Some with swords, some with smiles. But I pity them. You are ever more Oh, stop it. Stop it. Um. Uh, what's going to happen to me in the next few nights? He's not who he says she is, and is going to burn. Dinosaurs. He's furious. The man at the crest. What? The voice in the darkness. What? Close. Chinese brothers. Follow the lights to the end of the tunnel. Where do you want to go? Um, do you have any advice at all that could save my life? Don't open it. Um, so who's got a job I can do? Those with a lot to say. Usually have something on their mind. There are many unique individuals huh. around the city. It's almost as if they're waiting for you to ask the right thing. Eat, for example. Makes sense. Thank you. You e or is he e? e? Listen, it's like I've told you types about a thousand times now. We know we can't hunt around here, all right? We're minding our own business. No reason to hassle the weaklings. And that's cool. Mind if I chill with you? Be my guest. You'd be the first. Most of the time you type just run us off. Or in the case of some of the long faces we got gathered around here, killers on sight. Hmm. What's wrong with you? Dunno. We all seem to have come down with the same disease. Oh, who am I kidding? We're a bad horror show, alright? We seem to be the runts. The mistakes. You types call us thin bloods. I say we're all equally screwed. Thin bloods? How this happen to you? I just come to town for the surf tourney. Seems like years ago. It's well, been about six months now. Every night during the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach parties fizzled out in the AM. That's where I met her. Met who? She had a natural beauty. Not like all the plastic dolls littering the sand. Her name was Lily. I remember introducing myself. The way she seemed grateful for the company. Well, a few nights after our meeting, we were on the beach alone. Go on. She tried to tell me what she was, but I didn't understand. So she showed me. I was furious with her when I took it all in. I cursed her and left, never really knowing what I was. Well, I realize now how she must have felt. Hmm. So here I am, Adam. A mystery to myself. Is Lily dead? Clinically, yes. But honestly, I don't know. 
I suppose I'd have moved on by now if I didn't think she'd show up one of these nights. There's a lot I've got left to say to her. Yeah. Um, maybe I should look into this whole Thin Blood thing. Uh, I hope you had better luck than I did. No one's been particularly friendly to me in this city. The only reason we're in Santa Monica is because we haven't been chased out yet. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I'll ask around and see what I can dig up. Oh, we'd appreciate it. Oh, before I forget, name's Eve. The black-haired beauty over there is Rosa. Huh? Sees the future, so she says. That nervous bloke is Copper. The one who can't speak so well is Julius. Kids glass with him. They let it rock. You got it, buddy. See you later, man. Yeah. Let's head over here and check out the pier. I think because that's where that said, yeah, Carnival of Death. Go around the back, I guess. I don't know. I don't think I've ever come back here. So, um, Thin Bloods. Thin Blooded Vampires are in Vampire the Masquerade. When a vampire that is already pretty weak, like, say, if I were to embrace someone, um, they would probably end up a thin blood. Uh, it means they're clanless. Their blood is too weak to manifest clan pieces or powers. So they're sort of, they still hunt for blood and they still heal fast, but their powers are very limited. Some of them are even so weak that they're still alive technically. They just have some vampire parts. So they're a lot closer to ghouls than real vampires. But by and large, they are real vampires. I'm just going to slip into this arcade while he passes me by. Dude, is that a real cabinet? Rampage. Blood quest. Policemen keep walking. Call of Duty Pinball. Pitfall by Activision. King Neptune. River Raid. I played that game. That's pretty fun. It's never. I don't know if it was an arcade cabinet like that, though. Alright, well, let's go. Get a look at this body here. I don't like the way that cop's looking at me. Is that it? Nothing significant about the killer except that it was brutal and vicious. Yeah, that's right. Alright then. Let's head back downtown. Wonder if we can find Lily. I don't really know where to start looking. Um, thinned blood. Oh, you might want to check out the Surfside Downer. Alright, well I'll check out the Surfside Diner. No problem. Easy peasy, thanks for the help. Um, is there anything else I can take out of here? Thin Blood, Carnival of Death. Oh, I should take the Astrolite back to Mercurio. Then I will hit the diner and see what's up. <clears throat> I am really surprised how simple the Astrolite quest was. I thought that was a big deal, but I guess not. I probably could have done it in the first episode. Uh, well, other than t talking them out of their their astrolite and their money, and then basically taunting them until I left and stealing car stereos in front of them, that went pretty well. Let's hit Main Street. Curio, what up, man on the couch? Curio, uh, got the astrolite yeah. back. Did you waste those sons of bitches? No, it's not my style. Did you get my money back? Uh, shit. Start his money. I, I, money is nice. I, all right, here it is. Ah, uh, your lifesaver. What am I supposed to do now? You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a Sabbat interest. Alright, what do you know about this warehouse? I heard a lot about that operation. Well, I'd love to get in there. Get my hands on the equipment they've been unloading. But it'd be suicide to walk in there. Got a small army of trigger-happy types and they're all packing. I don't know, maybe... Uh... Maybe what? Well, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. Hmm. He's one of you types. Okay, a vampire. Who knows more than me about this city? It's him. Unfortunately, Tongue's hiding out at the moment. Why? Tongue's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? 
Anyway, nope. Word is to reason tongue of feuding. I don't know the details. Mike takes the tongue thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're gonna have to get Therese to call off the feud. Where can I find her? She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. Asylum, the nightclub. That's convenient. What can you tell me about her? She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking blow up for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. All right. How about something Ooh, else? Exactly. What about her sister? Therese. Therese I don't like, but I can respect her. Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. She's a little, you know, in the head. Hmm. I don't know. Therese is, well, like you. And I would think so's Jeanette. But I hear rumors about her. Rumors? All right. Jeanette got a body built for bedrooms. And I got close acquaintances says they conquered that territory. Hmm. But I asked the main man, and he says, you types, you know, can't or don't or do that kind of thing. Anyway, whatever she is, I hear Jeanette's a wild girl. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's a lot of information. Um... Whatever. I think we're going to take down this within blood quest. I think that'll be fun. Let's check the diner and see. Maybe there's that girl that was in there before. Maybe that's Lily. Who knows? I severely doubt that it's that easy, but I have been wrong before. Could use some blood, too. Hey. Hey, baby. That depends. You know it. Yeah. Okay, come on. Right here. This nice dark alley. Not here. It's okay, let's go. What? Where are we supposed to go? Ah. Where's more private than here? Is it you mean like back here? Is this good? Not here. Okay. This is way more work than it seems. Well, there's a thing I can get into. How about here? Not here. Ah, uh, I just want to bite your face. All right, whatever. Come on. How about back here? Not here. Ah. Uh. Okay, honey. There we go. Um, actually, let me show you. Doo -doo, doo -doo. There. Thank you. Oops. I can't get it. Would you let me buy, please? Fucking fine. Jesus. Alright. We're, we're going to the diner anyway, so I guess I didn't need to get around behind her. Mm-hmm. $40 for a bunch of blood points is better than $90 for one, so I don't feel too bad about that. As long as I don't kill anyone, I'm happy. Let's see. Hey, man. Never mind. Hey, man. Hey. hey. Okay, okay, okay. Evening. No, you're not Lily, otherwise you'd talk to me. Alright, what do we got? Hey, old lady. Will it be? You see any pain, <laughs> little strange types in here? Is that a trick question? Um. Any. girls hanging out here? Pale girls. Oh, like the Fitzsimmons albino. No, yeah, she hasn't been in not like the Fitzsimmons albino. Um. How about a surfer guy and a pretty girl? Mm, let me think. Oh, yeah. About four dozen a week. Shit. Um, okay, how about the term thin blood? Thin blood. Sounds familiar. Is that one of those tropical diseases? No. Um, trying to remember. Where'd you hear it? Mm. I know I've heard that before. Kind of strange. A pretty girl said it. Oh, that girl. Nice girl. First decent human being I've seen in here for years. Huh. Not like all the junkies and crazies I normally see. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah. Weird. 
She got the tip, but she didn't order a thing. Yeah, she looked so hungry, too. Just sat there all night with a full glass of water in front of her, talking about this and that. She seemed lonely, a little scared, so I let her stay in the booth until we closed. Huh. She left some stuff here. You seem to know her. Why don't you give it back to her if you were into her? All right, I will do that. What do I got? Oops. Bail bond from Kilpatrick Bail Bonds for Rolf Toten. Picture of her, I'd imagine. Lily on the back. Uh, purse left in the diner. Lily's key. Oh, that's new. Is that on my key ring? Yeah, Lily's key. All right. Well, then, what does Lily's key open, ladies and gentlemen? Perhaps we will never know. Perhaps we will know all the time. Who knows? But I do know where to ask around. Let's go talk to our friend Arthur. Actually, more than that, let's go talk to Arthur's computer. I try to not talk to Arthur any more than I have to. Hope you've slipped into Let's something see, we're looking for Rolf Toten, so NR. If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio thing, nope. uh, that's idiotic. The dead of night. The only yeah, girl sorry. who spend the night with you when we first There we go. Toten R. Well, looks like the boards are lighting up. Right. Immigration case, bond amount fifteen thousand dollars. Type of bond collateral. Car Color, red lightning bird seventy seven. Plate guy Connie. Hey, I have seen that before. That's in that parking structure. Go back to Germania, pal. We don't need <laughs> take so, the Euro in these parts. Why are you Fucking class act, Arthur. Class act. But now I know what I'm looking for. It's a nice night for being rainy and dark and filled with smog. Pretty nice. Alright, let's see here. I wonder what this Rolf guy is about. Like, because we've got uh, Guy Connie. God damn it. What is that? Diary? Seems to be a woman's diary. Met a guy today at the asylum. He's so beautiful. Oh my god. His name is Rolf and he's from Germany. European men are just so classy compared to boring California boys. He asked to see me tomorrow night. I wonder if he's rich. He looks rich. I'm gonna go shopping tomorrow and pick up something. That won't that won't won't make me look like a big fat pig. I can't wait to see him. It's getting serious with Rolf. He told me he wanted to give me something very special next week. And if it's what I think it is, about damn time. I thought Europeans were supposed to be less uptight about this sort of thing. She's talking about sex, guys. Oh, Jesus. Woke up at 9 p.m. today. That would be strange in itself, except I don't remember going to sleep last night. In fact, I don't remember anything since last Saturday night when Rolf was over. I woke up late again. I haven't eaten anything in four days. I don't know what's wrong with me. You're a vampire, sweetie. Rolf came over last night. He said the reason I hadn't eaten anything is because I needed blood. He said it was all I could eat now. And I wouldn't feel hungry anymore if I drank some. He had a bag of it from the local blood bank. I tried to refuse, but I couldn't. What's happening to me? Rolf said he's going to have to leave soon. People are trying to force him out of the country. He didn't say anything about talking with me. Or taking me with him. I had to bail Rolf out of jail today. Well, that explains that. He was arrested because his visa expired. He looked frightened. I'm afraid he's going to leave. I haven't seen or heard from Rolf since the night I bailed him out. I don't know what to do. I thought he cared about me. Why did he do this to me? I talked with a guy I met in Surfside until 5 in the morning. I told him I had to go. I felt like Cinderella, and he seemed like a prince. Well, that's our friend E. Met a guy from Surfside again. He has no idea what I am. I brought E. Yep. A guy from Surfside back to my apartment last night. He said he's going back to Australia in a few days now that the tournament's coming to an end. I don't want him to leave. I never felt this way about someone, not even Rolf. This girl is pretty fickle with her feelings. E kissed me last night, and I couldn't stop myself from biting into his neck. But I drank too much, and I gave him my blood to save him. When I explained it all to him, he said he never wanted to see me again. What have I done? Well, that's shitty. I haven't been able to feed since the night with E. I'm afraid what will happen. I remember Rolf brought blood from the blood bank. Maybe I can sneak in and grab a few blags and get out before anyone catches me. Well, let's go hit up the blood bank.
hopefully Cinderella is in the blood bank and we can get her out. But I don't know. She could be she could be long gone by now, but she must have left some evidence. I'd rather not cross creepy McCreeperton, the guy that runs it. But he didn't seem to mind me poking around in the back last time, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Do 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 Oh, that's that room that leads to the morgue. That's locked. Maybe she's in there. It's all this. Ooh. Oh, it's like a blood drying room. Whoa. What's up? Who are you? What are you doing back here? Uh, if you don't know, you shouldn't be asking. Oh, you here for the special sauce? Um. What do you think? Question, Phil. She's in the freezer. Today's cool is. Think, Phil. It's, uh, moon landing, uh, 1969. 1969. Got it. Thanks, buddy. Damn it, another goddamn computer I can't hack. Come on, try again. Yep, no. Nothing. Gibberish. Alright, well, whatever. We managed to socially engineer Phil, so... Huh. These the freezers? Yeah, these are the freezers. Nothing. Nothing. That looks like a keypad to me. 1969. Well, shit, here we are. We are in that locked room. Hey, Lily. I need a drop of it on my tongue, sliding down my throat. The hot flash in my brain lighting up my body. I can smell it everywhere. Blood. Hmm. Who are you? Let me go. It's painful. Like I'm going to die. It's calling. Never felt like this before. Let me go. I can smell it. I have to have it. Calm down. Tell me who you are. Let me go. What's it worth to you? Anything. No, uh, I think I'm going to go buy a bag of blood for you. Yep. Can we just go out this door? No, we can't. All right, well, let's take the secret door back out. And let's go buy a bag of blood. I'd prefer she doesn't flip out on me. Um, vampires frenzy when they don't have enough blood, so we'll buy her a bag of blood. What up? Need a fix? Yeah. How about you give me a blood pack? Why don't you make it two? I'll keep one for myself. All right. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. All right. Let's see here. Ah, uh, cardboard boxes. Let me. Nope. Here, 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 here. What's it worth to you? What are you doing? Uh, hold still. I'll let you. Oh, uh, wait. Bye bag of you oh god i'm a terrible person i didn't read it correctly you can't give her a bag of blood i'm gonna go buy a bag of you oh my god i'm sorry lily i didn't know that i was getting oh god reading is hard you don't look well at home oh, sweet mother of god. that's not what he sounded like before yeah that's weird my bad awkward never been so satisfying all of it i drank until i heard his heart stop and i was sucking on a dry dead artery it was euphoric you're a little I unhinged lady I killed him i've never killed anyone before what happened what came over me calm down and tell me what happened what just happened it's 
not who I am. I've never done anything like that before. I'm not a monster. Calm down, it's all right. I tried to steal some blood. I heard they sold it. I was hungry, and I can't hunt in town. They caught me, and I was strapped, trapped. Thought I'd never escape, but they killed a man. I have to get out of here. Who are you? My name is Lily. Yeah, you're the one E told me about. E? Do you know? Yes, I do know E. In fact, he asked me to find out about... Um, yeah, I said I'd help him. I tried to tell E about his condition, but he was so furious at me for what I'd made him into, he wouldn't listen. A thin blood, from what I've been told, is a vampire whose blood is weaker than most. Right. Go on. Rolf, my sire, told me some vampires consider thin blood the bad omen and want them destroyed. Rolf wasn't a thin blood, and apparently I am. I don't know why. Rolf abandoned me. His group wouldn't take me in. They said I was a liability. He left me with so many questions. And I did the same thing to E, but I didn't want to leave E. He forced me out of his life. I, I should go. I have to get out of here. Maybe out of the city. Soon. You should go see E. He's pining after you hard, lady. E doesn't hate me anymore? Quite the opposite. I'll go see him. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, about tonight, what I did? Please, don't tell E. It's not my fault. I couldn't control it. I've never done anything like this before. I'm no killer. <sighs> Promise. Fucking pinky swear. Get out of here. What? Hey, why am I walking? Oh, Jesus. Go and let that bitch out. What do I spill in the world now? Why'd you have to go and eat him, huh? No, I'll never get to do with that bastard myself. Well, you know what? No blood for you. No more. Wow. You're lucky. If I hadn't freed her, her friends were going to shoot up the place. Interesting. A missed opportunity. Guns make people cocky. They never appreciate what a skilled hand married to a knife can do. All Jesus you have to Christ. Do is get close enough to cut off the trigger finger. You're really or creepy. Their face. You like to talk, don't you? I want to hear a story. Tell me what's the best way you violenced up someone. Um, I want to hear every grisly detail. That's not... If I like your story, I'll sell you some blood. I'm not no blood killer. Blood comes from out of the living. From all kinds in a red torrent. A crimson seep at the speed of a heartbeat. For each drop, a teeny bit of life shed. You don't care how it's got, as long as it is. You'll be begging for it, and not getting any. Whatever. I don't even care. I'm out of here. You know what? Forget that guy. Go. Oh, wait. How do you get out? Yep. Dick. Fuck it. I don't need your blood. I've got two bags of the girl in my fucking purse. Can't believe I misread that. That was so dumb. Ugh. Yeah, I've got lots of experience. Eleven experience to be correct. Let's see here. What if I do? And I only need one more, and I can increase that as well. Wait, does that does scholarship not increase hacking? What is scholarship played? What increases hacking? Compu I'm an idiot. Computers increases hacking. You fucking moron. Why are you increasing scholarship when there's a computer skill right there? Ugh, I'm dumb. I'm sorry, guys. All right. Let's see. I don't care about other stuff. I'm just gonna save it because hacking is important. I'm gonna keep my hacking and lockpicking up. And I'm pretty good at talking to people, um, persuasion and whatnot. So we can't really do any of those. So. Alright, I think this is a good place to stop as any. I managed to help E and Lily out. Um, oh, I should probably go talk to them before I quit. Yeah, alright, let's do it. Real quick, we'll head down to the beach. We can save and hang out with the Thin Bloods. Not today. Hey, lady. Sorry about the confusion before. I already have a tire iron. That's fine.
Do -do -do. Hey guys, how you feeling? Did Lily find you? Yeah, she did. Right. Easy, easy, easy. Hey Come man. On. Brought my Lily back. Bubble. She told me all about what happened. I don't know why you helped us, but your blood's worth bottling. I'll never let her go again. Thank you. You stupid kids are welcome. Keep her safe, man. Out of LA soon. Too dangerous here. Rosa told us something big's about to happen, and I don't want to be here when the jack comes out of the box. Take that for what you will. I'll think about that. Thanks, E. This isn't too bad. See you guys next time.